so hello everybody welcome to my youtube channel back to my youtube channel so i'm tandy k but today i'm going to be speaking to you as karen because that is my first name like karen speaks or karen talks because i do go by tandy but you know right now i'm coming to you as as karen so yeah <laughs> come sit down have a little chat with karen because i'm going to be talking about skincare and that's like the other side of me so when i sell my skincare on depop pre-loved clothing and everything i'm on twitter as zj karen t karen t karen t <laughs> karen out if you want to buy anything by all means go ahead if it's available everything that is on my site is one of one it will be you know sent to you tracked and traced everything don't have to worry about a thing so that's this where that is okay but today i'm coming to you as karen karen t to talk to you about some skincare and this is going to be split into two parts so the second part will come a little bit later and i'll be talking uh, specifically about a different kind of skincare product but right now i'm going to talk to you about one specific skincare product you know it you love it guess what it is it's body cream i know sometimes at one point in our lives especially you know black people we have a tendency to sometimes come out of the shower and be like you know what i'm gonna let the gods moisturize me today but it came a point in my life where i said i'm not gonna do that anymore not only because i suffer from skincare problems but also because i just started to love the process of moisturizing and cleansing and all these things it's almost like i rediscovered my love for the process of looking after yourself outwardly and inwardly and stuff so that's kind of why i'm coming to you guys today so these body creams they are almost like multi-purpose so that's why i wanted to bring them to you as well they're very specific to people with skincare problems which is also why i wanted to bring it to you and just for something light-hearted and fun and yes yeah, so i hope you enjoy if you do keep on watching the video and don't forget to like comment and subscribe and let's get into it so this is the avino daily moisturizing body lotion um uh, specific to people with for people with normal to dry skin it's unscented pardon me it's unscented i used to use avino a lot of the time when i was a bit younger or more so like not like a child but like a young adult like navigating kind of the the weird world of skincare that didn't really make sense to me but this product has some really good ingredients in it. It's got a very high amount of glycerin, which is very hydrating. It's got some dimethicone. And honestly, dimethicone is one of my very, very favourite ingredients in skincare because it's an occlusive. So it helps really lock that moisture into your skin more than like a lot of other uh, ingredients can do. So it's really, really good. It's very hydrating. It's very good for people with eczema as well. And it's also got oat um, flour in it, so sativa kernel extract. And then it's got a bit of alcohol, um, no fragrance. So, you know, it's got some alcohol, it's got some sodium chloride, um, things like that. So overall, it's a really simple ingredient, sis. I would definitely recommend it for people, like I said, with normal to dry skin. That is, you know, my skin type. I've spoken about this in maybe previous videos, but definitely on my blog, which I will link somewhere um but i've spoken about this before um as in my skin type so i haven't actually tried their other ones maybe for like um normal to oily skin or like combination skin so my i would say in general i'm more combination but slightly like earring more on like the drier side so definitely um would recommend this it is so so good it literally doesn't have any fragrance in it so you're going to get less of like a um, itchy feeling potentially when you put it on your body. It's not body wash, so if you do put it on, it's not going to like... Uh, it's If you put fragrance body cream on, sorry, it's going to stay on your skin. It's more likely to lead to irritation and skin uh, sun skin sensitivity. But this, you don't really have that problem. The only thing I don't like about this is that it's very um thin. Like it's a thin layer of, of moisture. So it doesn't necessarily last like say overnight for like a long period of time like kind of maybe that 12 to 15 hours of not moisturizing that you may be looking for so i would definitely say that if you do use this one then you need to layer up in the morning and in the evening repeatedly and then you will not experience any skin dryness really make sure you put on your sunscreen as well obviously if you're going to be out in the sun and you have this on but definitely even though it's number three it's so so good okay, so the second product i'm going to be reviewing 
in his list of top three moisturizers i'm not really reviewing it i'm just telling you to go and buy it if you know it's good for you but this is the astral astral cream now, i've mentioned this before in a tiktok video which i'll also link where i basically speak about actually no it's private so i can't link it but that's okay um so this is a, a cream a general cream so this you can use your face you can use your body you can use your hands this is wherever you want i only use it for my face now but i have had periods where i have used it for my body and i have not been disappointed at all now let me open it for you just so you can see what i'm talking about do you see how thick that is do you see how thick that cream is it is honestly like one of the best things i've ever stumbled across in my life if i had known about this when i was younger because you can get it in any hair shop more or less i would have bought it but honestly this is some serious game for you guys this is amazing I'm not even just saying it this is the most amazing cream i've ever used i use this on my face i don't get no like specialized cream you know specific for the face i've done all of that i don't need all of that because i have my astral and this is my face astral you don't want to see my body astral there is there's nothing in there it's i cleared out the whole thing there's not a speck of white left in that thing because this is goated i'm telling you and the ingredients this you ask again similar to the aveeno it's got that glycerin really high quantity in it yes it's got some alcohol it's got magnesium sulfate sulfate magnesium magnesium guys magnesium this is honestly what they've been saying is like key for like people of color and our skin and our bodies to consider magnesium so definitely like that in the skincare form as well in the form of an ingredient for skincare it has got quite a lot of alcohol in it um and only downside is it does have fragrance in relatively high quantities it's just a general perfume so and it's got a little bit of linen linen law in it but other than that, I still do use this because for me, I can, I've kind of built up my skin's tolerance a bit to fragrance products. So even though like just now I was saying, oh, like fragrance, bad fragrances, it's like, that's a topic of discussion for like, you right, know, this journey right. skincare together, then I will, you know, be able to kind of explain to you guys more why you shouldn't view fragrance as like this like demonic thing but nonetheless i do understand some people are very anti-fragrance and may not be so much for this one but remember this is specifically for the body so you can always go with the avena and the one that i'm going to mention just now but there are also alternative uh, moisturizers for your face that you can use that do not contain fragrance as well if you want me to recommend them they're all cost effective just you know say the word and i'll i'll film that video for you but right now we're focusing on obviously the body creams and the body washes as well that'll be in the next video but yeah so this is this mastral so convenient <laughs> so convenient it's like a hockey puck they should sponsor me at this rate okay last one um is the epimax now this is uh soap alternative and this is basically built with paraffins um yeah it's basically a soap alternative i don't know if i've spoken about soap alternatives before but i've been using them for a long time so i started using them in my third year of university and that was sexual ben and that was recommended to me for a doctor so soap alternative the way it works is it's literally that it's a cream that doubles up as a soap and this is probably the best thing that i can recommend for people who suffer with eczema for example um psoriasis very sensitive skin conditions like that rashes in general um as well i would definitely recommend this because this is packed to the gods with paraffin it's got 15 percent white soft paraffin six percent liquid paraffin and what a paraffin does i've spoken about this i think before it's an emollient and the emollient basically provides this like protective film over your skin which stops moisture from escaping and that is what you want because eczema you know dry skin in general rashes in general i'm not too well versed on on um psoriasis but definitely speaking from my experience of eczema and dry skin the what number one thing you don't want is moisture excessively escaping from your skin that's the the, the key that you want to avoid and this is perfect to that it does it wonderfully you can use this in the shower uh, i tend to when i'm in the shower i don't really use this because like i said i built up my skin's tolerance to a lot of things that i don't 
necessarily always need this but in maybe like the colder months things like that and i do notice maybe certain flare-ups and things i will go back to this because literally i can mix it with other um other soaps as well like dove i i'll i'll get to the, <laughs> i'll get to body washes that you guys worry about i can i can mix it with other soaps and then it really just provides that like extra moisture that i need so that in the shower there's no water loss when i come out my skin is softer and then when i go and obviously moisturize my skin again the skin is softer so it's all about those three stages never having a dry moment with your skin so this is why it is number one again it contains a little bit of alcohol but absolutely no fragrance it's got some polysorbate in it and water um so yeah this this is top tier definitely recommend it i know you can get this at like your local pharmacy so you don't have to get this on prescription um although if you do feel as if you maybe want to seek some extra guidance before you go and just start purchasing things like this and you feel as if you have a skincare issue that you can bring to your doctor's attention by all means i would advise that you do that but this one i know you can get in your local pharmacy in the uk the actual like i said you can get this at you know a lot of hair shops and Aveeno. i'm sure that you can get this at your local boots your local super drug probably even pharmacies as well um yeah so that's it that's, that's that's what i wanted to show you guys my three favorite body lotions as of now that i would highly recommend to you i would say go get them splash your cash on some real stuff not all of this like fancy smelling stuff sometimes it's about the stuff that looks very plain very boring that's the stuff that's going to keep you hydrated every day and then you can just add your deodorant and your perfume and you'll be smelling like Mwah. 